Welcome back, Kevin's Mobile Repair, 2007 Chevy 1500 Suburban. I'll do some front brakes on this one. 19 millimeter. Take both caliper bolts out. Driver, put it in between the pad and the rotor. Squeeze it just a little bit. Take off the tension of the caliper so we can slide it off with no problem. All right, take note. Customer wanted a set of brake pads. They look brand back and new. But who am I gonna argue with the customer? They want new pads. All right. These will have two different kind of brake pads, one for the front, one for the rear. The one that's got the overhang will go on the back. It's also got a scrubber. So just gonna make sure of the orientation of the pads that you're putting on. Because in this case, they will only go on one way. The ones for the rear, they went on two different directions. And that previous person that put on the brake calipers with the brake pads kind of messed that caliper up. See that in the other video. Goober on. Okay. Clips on. Nice shiny brand new anti rattle squeal clips. Here. Keep that rotor in place. This is why I put the screws and stuff like that in here to keep this rotor from backing out like that. This makes it easier for the install too. Overhang one goes in the back. Just like that. Just like that. And this is what this tool is actually designed for. Dual pistons. I can still use it on a single piston though. Make sure slide pins move easy. They do. Good. If not, take them out. Put some grease on them so that they slide. It's important that they slide because this whole caliper assembly moves inside here. That's what you want. Easily movable, doesn't lock up, cause brake noise, brake imbalance, something this big, kind of brake imbalance. Make that car shift to one side or the other whenever you apply the brakes. So, there you go. New pads. Any questions, comments, please let me know. Thank you much.